Alright, so welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Kreese Marine Battle of the Atlantic campaign. So still quite early, it's December. So we have week two, second week of December. We've lost four ships now. Lost the U-42, along with the uh, heavy cruiser, pocket battleship Shear. And uh, two destroyer escorts just off Scotland there. We've still got to bat that, the battleship Warspite and her escorts patrolling that area now. So we have sunk 22 enemy vessels, 128,470 tonnes, and 76 merchants totaling 411,090 tonnes. So the average has gone up to 102,772. We have 148,870. And we now and twenty six, so we've got four slots free now. So right now we have the hipper. So we've got the Admiral Hipper, the heavy cruiser. She's got medium damage. We can't get her into port until we clear this area, or we have to go right around. There's no guarantees about British assets appear as well. So what do we do? We have got the destroyer. Hide camp is back out of repair. Z21. We have three U boats on the British Isles. Type 7s, I believe, all of them. Varying degrees of torpedo loadout remaining. Type 7, yeah. So I've got one at type, uh, one type 7, U27. With seven torpedoes, you're the two, you 32 and you 33. Who oh, were patrolling the Bay of Biscay. They just come out there fresh. They've still got for their 14 torpedoes. But we need to be able to clear this area. This large concentration of heavy warships of the enemy. A battleship, war spite. So we've got the Carl Galster, the destroyer. Three turns, one and a half weeks, and half a week for U-28. Right. 140,870, we need some big guns. So here the try. And use a surface warship to remove them. Or, we go for submarines. I like the looks how heavy cruiser. It's the last of our pocket battleships, 11 inch cruisers, 6 11 inch guns, 5.5 inch belt, 5.5 inch turret, 2.5 inch deck. Nice. Nice to have, but not enough, I don't think. So we'll get the Scharnhorst. We'll leave the knives now for now still in port. So we need something to go alongside them. Mm, it's tempted to get that. What's the Sharmar's maximum speed? 31 knots. It's only 11 inch guns though. It's supposed to be a battleship, it's only got 11 inch guns. Just slightly heavily armoured. Yes, yeah, seven. Oh, wait a minute, second. Eighteen-inch belt, fourteen-inch turret armour, and five-inch deck armour. Three aircraft, eighteen torpedoes. Secondaries of five point nine inch and mains of shell of eleven inch. Constantly, Bismarck had fifteen-inch guns. So I think we'll get the Lutz out. Both got 11 inch guns. Had a little Hipper class heavy cruiser. 8 8 inch guns. 32 knots maximum. 22 torpedoes. No secondaries though. Okay. We'll go for the Blutcher. 
24,870 remaining and one single slot free. Which I'm going to use for a replacement for you, but... Whoops. I wish I could get a U20, uh, Type 21. They're not, they're not available to week 3, third week of September 1943. So in light of that, we shall go spend 2,500... Sorry, 2,600... On U44. Okay, that gives a bit extra. It's got two heavy cruisers. The Blutcher is obviously 11 inch cruiser, about a pocket battleship. The Shan Horse, two heavy cruisers, a destroyer, and a Type 9 U boat. And we can't move them directly from there to there. Which is a shame. We need to be able to get rid of. Okay, what am I doing? We'll take it straight with us. Which might be of use. We'll take you 44 as well. Okay, anyone else need to head back? I need resupplying. Yeah, she used four, you said she used four torpedoes, didn't she? Well, she thought she used none. They're, they're fine. That's perfectly okay. So we have... Still nothing in the South Atlantic yet. But it's still in December 1939. It's very, very, very early. So what's the weather like? Nice. Sunny but with a bit of cloud. Pretty damn terrible there. And windy and rainy there. Of course this time of the year it's all relative. Because it's usually pretty bad anyway in the North Atlantic during winter. Okay so it's got medium damage to the hipper. How's the U-34 though? Yeah, she's fine. I think that's it. U-41, U-43, they're fine. U-30, U-39, they're fine. Admiral Graf Speed must needs to move back down here. Along with her escort. I know it's not strictly where... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it can be quite misleading because you can put them here and you intercept quite a lot. Leave them here and they don't seem to intercept anything. But I'm going to leave them there where they are then. Okay. I think that's it. Should be it. Okay, so we're moving to the next... Half week of the second week. Sorry, half. We yeah, half week of the second week of December 1939. Okay, so we've got enemy contact. North Atlantic. We've got the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen. A light cruiser Nuremberg. And a destroyer Z-22 Anton Schmidt against two British, dis British submarines. They have the initiative. SS Thetis and Triton. So let's see what they do. No action. Torpedoes at my heavy cruiser. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so we've got our two escorts with the Prince Eugen. We have the sonar contact. It's only one though. Probably when we when it did launch the torpedoes, maybe. Although I think the Prince Eugen was fed upon from over here. 
the freight torpedoes here. That's what it looks like. Just ahead of us, submerged contact. Okay. So that's to the rear of us, is it? Yeah, looks like it. That's near the destroyer. Anton Schmidt, yeah. See, it wasn't that large a torpedo. I thought it was. Nothing but to uh, reverse course with the cruiser and the, well, the two cruisers. No idea what the range is. There's much point in firing. Estimated range. We'll go for 6.5 degrees. Mm, just a headwind. Okay. No idea if that was anywhere near. Wasn't really supposed to. So I hit the target. 22 torpedoes. But no submerged contact. She's over there. Okay, it's a turn. I've no idea how close the uh, Jafari gun was. As far as the target's concerned, I don't even think it was anywhere near. Launch torpedo just to worry them. to harass them. No chance of it hitting like. This one very, 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 very lucky, which I don't seem to have been just lately. So now comes from the destroyer. Ooh, so that is close by. Four thousand eight hundred seventy two. Elevation six point one. Go to flank speed. We are in the rear. Yeah, that's one that launched a torpedo. Sure, that's the one that launched a torpedo. There's another one over there, though. Couldn't quite make out. No, 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 no. These torpedoes move to the stern. 108.7, 6.1. What? Oh, good grief. Hell, if you select torpedoes. No idea what it is. It's a submerged contact. It's at periscope depth, but we've no idea what a torpedo solution is. Well, is that right? Was it stood still? It might well be. Three torpedoes covering it. It might be within one turn. No, it's not. Torpedoes in the water. Oh my god, no! I knew they'd launch torpedoes, but you can't turn away from them fast enough. Ok, 
Oh, what damage? D turret. Yeah, raise that all. Damn it. So yeah, the one over this one over here. There's a uh, submarine over here. They still have got contact with it's not that one that launched those torpedoes. So I made a turn to starboard. Ooh, four torpedoes. Look at again with just two contacting. Just go straight. Yeah, there's no point. Just say submerged contact. I've got no torpedo information whatsoever. So where is it? Yeah, this was quite far away. It's quite distant. This did not launch those torpedoes. Let's go straight. Yeah, don't bother. Okay, so it is moving. Just keeps saying elevation. Yeah, she's trying to avoid those tops. Damn. So we don't have that many torpedoes to waste. If they're at periscope depth, why am I not getting any? That's weird. It's because we don't have enough information how the uh, maneuvering, how fast they're going, what direction. Seems a bit weird to me. She's moving. I don't know what speed she's doing or anything. Felt that. So I've got two turns to get there. That's a Thetus. So which one was that? Is that the one I'll destroy you fired on? Yeah. So that's the one I'll destroy you fired on. Anton Schmidt. Another submerged contact with absolutely no information whatsoever about it. At least that's one threat out of the way. So that's the first. Of the British submarines we've encountered. It's strange, that I thought that, you know, periscope depth it should have more information. Eight thousand one hundred forty elevation ten point six. That's just for guns. Of 
come around. So I'm hit with a gun. No point wasting torpedoes. I'll go for high explosives. We don't really need to compensate for wind much. Tiny little touch. Not there. A 9.7. Nine point seven. Oh, she's done more torpedoes at my cruiser. Keep just turn again. Damn it. I could there's another heavy cruiser here if that torpedo hits. I've no idea where it is. don't think gunfire really works, but I mean, then again, I've, I've taken damage on my U-boats. 9.6. Come down in speed, down to one third. Elevation 9.4. She can't have closed that much from 9.7. That's a nine point five. If I can get these shells closer, I could still do some damage. So scopes that's still over. Yeah, if we keep turning on full reverse. Yeah, that's fine now. We're clear. Then when that was steam. Okay, we'll go to flank speed, keep turning. Damn it. I saw the heavy crews are going to head in. But at least she survives. You're not going to launch a torpedo now, that's just down to my destroyer to take this thing out. See if we cause any damage. Actually, no, we won't. We'll do that after, no, after we tried hitting it again. 9.4. Okay, slight deflection. Still overshot. Only one torpedo. Try she's closing, so I'm only coming on point two. So up to flank speed. Just go straight. Dear me. Come down point two this time. So a nine point two. It says nine point two there, but I'll put it to nine point one because it's nearly always bloody wrong. It's 
this time they'll be sharp. No. Ooh. Another torpedo my cruiser. Crikey, she's really trying to go for my bloody cruiser. Making 14 knots. Is that enough? I'll we'll have to wait till we actually see it, I suppose. Let's have a look. <laughs> no, no damage. What a surprise. Oh, let's just let's just sort this thing out. Well, she's concentrating on that cruiser. We can try and sink her. Just under seven, no, just under six thousand seven hundred yards. It says nine point one. Now it says eight point six. Go to eight point five. Still over. Oh, come on. If that was one of yours, it'd have missed. Flipping heck. Just go straight, flank speed, 7.4 knots. Oh no, steering's jammed. Propulsion and steering. Damn it. This is damn thing. No idea what elevation is, even though they can actually see it. We go to eight. Uh, it's going across on the left. It's probably a complete waste of ammunition. No idea whether that actually hit. Whether it missed completely. No. 14 torpedoes left. She's fired quite a few. She's got one 4 inch gun as well. Oh dear, mate. Six point four. It means we don't have any angle for the torpedoes. It's a bit wrong. Well, they were very close. Oh my god, we're still jammed. God, I've no idea if they were even anywhere near the contact. I find it a bit strange that they can target my submarines when I periscope up, and yet I don't seem to have to target them. It's still coming across. No idea. No, she's coming straight. Okay. She's coming across. 
It's coming almost directly towards us like that. Don't have too many torpedoes to use though. Let's try and get a bit closer. That's probably dangerous, you're going to lose a load of torpedoes off us. Let's get the heck out of here. There's no point. Because the torpedoes we have on our surface ships on the Kriegsmarine aren't like the ones in the Royal Navy. They can actually target submarines as well. Well, see, we can't do that with surface vessels. So we're pretty limited. Yeah, she's turning. It's not enough for my torpedoes to track now. She's playing this load of torpedoes off at me. Well, she hasn't. Maybe she's used all of her forward torpedoes and just to reload. Which I'm not going to get much of a chance of getting her with depth charges, that is for sure. Oh dear me. Okay, is that enough? Torpedo, 53.7. At last I'm getting torpedo information. Is she still moving? Yeah, she's turning. Fifty-three point seven. We are within two range. Yeah, two, two turns. Fifty-three. She can't be going that speed. She's a submarine. No idea what speed she's doing. It's hard to believe them, I suppose. And they're 53.7. She can't turn that fast, surely. No, she can't. And 50.7. It's all about torpedoes. We're going to have to go back and reload. Replace this sub this uh, destroyer. Still no action though. Three torpedoes hit one missed. Well, thank God for that. Just gonna have to head back though. The Prince Oigan's gonna have to head back. The light crews can stay on station though. Along with the destroyer. Of course, destroyer needs to be replenished, but I'd rather have a destroyer with guns and some depth charges and a light cruiser with torpedoes. But that is that. So that's two subs down. Phew. Oh, it's only light damage. Hmm, tempted to leave her out. Okay, 1,600 for each, 1,600 tonnes, that gives us 3,200 renown. The Prince Oigan has taken light damage, Nürburg and the Anton Schmidt, both those vessels are untouched. The Thetan and the Triton have been sunk.